Welcome to this mathematics class. My name is Maina. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at matrices. This is a form 3 topic and um, the matrices that we are going to talk about will be applied later in another form 4 topic, matrices and transformations. In other words, this is a very important topic and it is good that the basics in it are properly understood. So we want to start with um, the addition of matrices and I already have an example for us here. Given that A that is matrix A equals A, B, C, D that is a 2 by 2 matrix You can go to this one that is B plus Q. So first element here added the first element. The, uh, the next one here B now will be B plus Q B plus Q so we get A plus P and the, or the other element becomes B plus Q so that's the element there, and this is the other element, the sum. Then we come down here, and this C will go with R, because they are exactly the, in the same position in the matrix. So we have C plus R, that's the other element there. And then finally, we have D plus W. 
So this makes the fourth element there. Well, let's take a, a, an example involving numbers. This is in the general, this is a general way of doing it. That is, this first element combined with the first element there. This combines with this. C combines with R and D combines with W. And now you see why the two matrices have to be of the same order. Because if any of them had a different order, then it would not be possible to have corresponding elements. And therefore, let's look at um, another one where we take, for example, let's, let, let A be just two, three, four, five, and B equal to six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so what will be our A plus B? We can write here, okay, A plus B. Let's, let's make that one clear. Let's make this one clear now, clear. So if A equals two, three, four, five, and B equals six, seven, eight, nine, we can say A plus B equals, very straightforward, just take two and two six. That gives us uh, eight. Three add to seven. That gives us ten. Four add to eight. That gives us twelve. And five add to nine to get fourteen. Five plus nine. So again, you've seen we just added corresponding elements. If it's two, we are adding it to six. Three, we are adding it to seven. Four, we are adding to eight. Five to nine. And um, we get eight, 10, 12, and 14. In the next lesson, we are going to look at subtraction. Later, we will see how a matrix can be multiplied by a scalar. Now, uh, you need to remember this, that here we have handled a 2 by 2 matrix. The matrix can be of any order. 3 by 3, we need to add to 3 by 3. 2 by 3 must be added to a 2 by 3. That's what we are saying. The order must be the same for you to do the addition or subtraction. So in the next video, we are going to look at subtraction of matrices together with multiplication of a matrix by a scalar. So remember, like we have always said, mathematics is about practice. It is very clear that this is a, a Form 3 topic, but the concept is extremely easy. It's just addition, what you're doing in Form 1, maybe much easier. So remember to subscribe. You can also make, make comments on how we can improve uh, the video. You can also mention the particular topic you would like us to discuss. This one we are discussing right now was proposed by one of my subscribers. A student in high school who said he would like us to go through the topic of uh, matrices. So you can make comments down there. You can also subscribe so that we move together. Otherwise, from me, for now, it's goodbye until we meet again in the next lesson.